In this slide, I'm gonna simulate another type of training available in Adobe Captivate. I'm gonna preview the slide that I've just created. The slide loads and you see that it immediately stops. I can hover my mouse onto a specific area which is currently highlighted in the slide and uh, a caption underneath will tell me what that part of the engine is. So when I hover the mouse onto this part, it will say this is the wipers liquid tube. When I hover the mouse here, it says this is the radiator liquid tube. When I want to carry on with the rest of the presentation, I will just click on the continue button here. It will bring me to the next slide. How was that achieved? I'm going to make another simulation here. It was quite straightforward. Actually, what we need to do is to use this other tool called Rollover Caption. When we use the Rollover Caption, immediately we'll place on the screen two items. The first item that we see is a box. I can just drag that box onto the item that I want to highlight. Also, it creates a caption, and this caption will only appear when we move the mouse onto the rollover area. We can change the shape and the size of the rollover area to match the size of the item that we want to highlight. So just with the basic settings, that's how it will look like. We will be able to move the mouse over onto that area and it will display the caption. When I move the mouse out of that area, the caption disappears and so on. However, you see that it moves to the next slide without me deciding when that has to happen. That's because in the example that I showed before, I also added a button that says continue. Now, in this case, my slide duration is 10 seconds. I want to shorten the duration of the slide, so I'm going to drag the duration of the slide items to only 5 seconds, and then I can change the duration of the slide itself. Now, I'm going to click onto the button icon here, Insert Button, and as soon as I click on Insert Button, it will place in the middle of the screen a button that says the word Button. That word is actually defined by this caption button in the general settings. But what I want to do, I want to change the button type to image button. As soon as I click image button, Captivate will load a series of uh, buttons that are preset in Captivate and you can carry on importing and creating the new one. The one that I want to pick in this case says uh, continue. There are several types of continue button that you can click. In this case, I'm going to be clicking on this one that says continue underscore blue small 90 by 20 pixels. When I click on it, it will apply that style to the existing button. I'm going to drop it somewhere on the bottom right corner and then I'm going to play this slide again. What it's doing now, it's stopping the playhead here because the button has a pause function inbuilt. Now I can move the cursor in and out of the rollover area in order to display the caption. Obviously, it's very useful to have a continue button only when you have multiple items to highlight. So the learners will have the time to actually roll the mouse over each individual areas and have the time to read what that area corresponds to. As soon as they are done with the learning part, they can proceed to the assessment part by pressing continue. Notice that the timing of the pose can be changed just by sliding the button item along the timeline and wherever you see the vertical line here, this one represents the pose. So if the pose is positioned now at two and a half seconds, it means that the slide will stop at two and a half seconds and will only carry on when we press the continue button.